Minecraft recently added a bunch of new naturally generated structures known as shipwrecks, and they look a little something like this. But they don't have to. They're nearly always broken ships, or even full ships, but nearly always underwater or partially submerged. They come in all shapes and sizes and orientations, and are nearly always made of two different kinds of wood. They are found upside down, on their side, and in their entirety. There are so many different types of shipwreck in the game that I thought it would be a really good idea to show you a few ideas on how you could transform these into something a bit more unique. The first design that I have to show you is, of course, the shipwreck in a bottle. This is what I made for my starter house in the Hermitcraft series, and it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. You can do this with any shipwreck whatsoever, as long as you make a big enough bottle to put it in, and do not underestimate how much glass you would need to do this. The great thing about this one is that you can really get inventive with the shape and size of the bottle itself. It doesn't have to be the standard circular one that I've done here, there are of course many different ways you could go about this. It is a really cool way to encase your shipwreck and it doesn't actually involve you transforming the shipwreck at all because in itself that is what there is to transform. However, draining such a large bottle is very very taxing on your bucket so despite me making this my starter house it does take an awful long time to do. So the entrance, of course, is through the end of the bottle, which is actually waterlogged. You can swim through the entrance, because it is one deep, and you come out the end. With a conduit, you can see everything from the outside, but on the inside, you will need a bit of lighting, which you do need to get a little bit creative to actually do. I've chosen to put sand and a bit of greenery in here, but on my Hermitcraft, I actually decided to fill this full of just dirt and grass. As you can see, it does get a bit dangerous in here if you don't light things up correctly. There's a really decent amount of space in here, and one of the wonderful things is you don't really have to worry about any interior, because the shipwreck is your interior, you can just make this whatever you want. As long as it's drained, you've got a decent amount of space in here to do what you want. If you wanted to, you could even just fix up the shipwreck itself, repair it completely, except with the masts, so that it looks like a full ship. So then it's just a ship in a bottle rather than a shipwreck in the bottle. To leave, all you gotta do is make something very similar to this with a fence gate or a trapdoor or another fence gate, and you hold control as you walk in, that starts you swimming, and then you can just swim out the end. If you are going to make this a full ship and you want to put sails on it, you might want to consider cutting that in half. As you can see, the height of this one stops here, where that creeper is standing waiting to blow something up. If you wanted to put sails on it, that would make the, the height of this ship all the way up here, meaning that the bottle itself would have to go all the way like that. So you might want to consider keeping the shipwreck this sort of size. Moving on to our next design, this is a submarine. Obviously it's made out of wood, but that's because all of the shipwrecks are made out of some kind of wood. So everything that I'm going to show you today is of course made out of wood as well. This is actually quite a clever design. You might not be able to see where the shipwreck was before, but this entire segment was actually this over here. This is the shipwreck that I used to convert into this one. So all I did was I took this bottom half and replicated it above with this being the center point here, allowing me to make a fully enclosed capsule. Of course, I then built an extra bit over the front to complete the entire capsule, and I edited the top here. But for the most part, I kept this bit of the shipwreck. And after I finished the bulk of the capsule, I created some propellers at the back. I created a little entrance over the top and a nice little viewing platform from the front. The palette of this one uses some yellow glass, but of course there's freedom to use any kind of glass, but you do become slightly limited by whatever shipwreck you find. In this case, it is the jungle planks and the dark oak. I actually created the entrance just here and you can fall in. And from the inside, you get this rather nice effect where 
Well, it's dripping. It's absolutely showering all the time because the water is just above here. It's lit up fairly well with some sea lanterns, and because this is such a nice square space, you can get a pretty decent interior in here. I put buttons here to look like rivets all over the place. The windows are actually too tall from the inside because from the outside, this is actually half a block. There's a little area here for the chests and for the beds. And then of course, there's a driving seat at the front so you can see everything. I think with any of these shipwrecks, you really want to create some sort of way to view outwards because being underwater, the whole point of it is to be able to enjoy the view. To get out, instead of going up there, I just added another little secret door here and you just fall through. This is a neat little design and it would work with any of the shipwrecks, but with this one in particular where you've got a pretty good half of the capsule, you can just finish that off with a bit more of the wood. My next design is actually based on top of the full ship. It's not really a wreck, it is just a full ship. It has a mast and it has the entire of the hull and the bow and everything. So as you can see, this one is kind of the full effect. This is a proper underwater house sitting on top of the shipwreck. And just so it's not floating, I even created a few rocks so that it's sitting on it and it feels really grounded. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a wreck, it would kind of be a submarine. So I went for a very sort of fantasy medieval style but then I added elements of being underwater. So instead of adding fences as windows, I actually used glass and then surrounded them with some trap doors to make them look a bit more like portholes. I totally freestyled this build by adding loads of framework around and filling them in as I went along, a few balconies and along with a few windows as well. There was nothing here that was really planned out, which is why it looks such a colossal mess, but it uh, does look really cool. It looks like it's all part of the entire thing. And the fact that it's sitting on the ship is what makes this very unique. As you can see, it's quite a thin build and quite tall. So that's something to bear in mind when you make this. It's not going to be a massive house. On the inside, as you can see, yes, it is very, very thin, but you can fit everything that you need to in here. Even enough room to make a cool little staircase. And you can have multiple layers with beds, plenty of windows to look out, and even an attic with a few more amenities to go around. There is plenty of things that you can do to utilize this space if you just experiment with how to do it. Of course, everything's kind of kept in that wooden feel to try and mimic what's going on with the ship in the first place. There is, of course, a few bits added, like the corals and the kelp. This is definitely not a starter base at all. This is something you would attempt once you've got a fair bit of materials behind you. The next one I want to show you is this. Now, this one's interesting because you might think that this doesn't look too good, but that wasn't the point of this house. This one was genuinely meant to be a starter house. So all I've done is taken the shipwreck that looks like this and I have emptied it of water. I filled in the holes and emptied it of water. You can see by comparing this shipwreck, which is in its natural form, to this house, there's really not that much difference. But because this one is upside down, it gave me a bit of an idea. I added a few fence posts either side to make it look like it's supported, and then a door directly in the middle. In here, you get a really cozy little area full of wood that you can add everything that you need. It even has enough space for a second little layer up here with your bed and everything else that you might need in game. This is probably the cheapest shipwreck house that I can offer for you this video. There's only a few little bits that are needed in order to do this. A few sponges or a bucket if you want to do it the long way. There's a chimney added on the top and then a few bits of glass and a few bits of wood. It's a really, really simple build. So if you wanted to transform a shipwreck into a house, this is by far the quickest and cheapest way to do it. And of course, once you've got it set up, you can expand this massively. You could increase this, you can increase the height. There would be loads of opportunities to take this somewhere, especially if you were doing some kind of aquatic challenge. This might be a really good place to start. The next house that I want to show you is, again, another house on top of a shipwreck. However, it's not quite as elaborate as that one, and it's not quite as simple as this one. This is somewhere in between. So this is, again, taking the half a shipwreck, and all I've done is added a few supports either side of it. 
And then on top of that, I've added your very bog standard house that you would see on most of the surface world with a nice A-frame and four walls. The only difference would be is that I've added some portholes instead of windows. Again, trying to give it that underwater feeling. This is a really good way of making this house feel at home. The feature piece of this house is the chimney, which actually has bubbles coming out of it. Going inside, admittedly, there's not all that much space in this one. It's only three blocks wide and you've got a few spaces for chests. Down here, you can actually make use of the shipwreck itself, not just the house. But overall, this is a very, very diddy house. There may even be more room on the very simple starter house over there. But one cool feature that you could put in any one of these is this chimney where you just use a soul sand elevator all the way to the top of the surface. So it's a very quick way to leave your house. And likewise, you could have a way in using the magma block. So this one has its own little charm about it. The fact that half of the shipwreck actually descends into the ground. So there's a nice little walkway. Even though you swim around, obviously, when you're underwater, this one looks really at home. The next concept I want to show you is basically decorating. Now, this shipwreck is unique. This is an almost full shipwreck, but the key feature here is it's upside down and it has a hole in it. That is a really unique thing, and I wondered for a long time what to do with it. And I thought, why not just give it a reason to be sunk in the first place? Now, I'm not sure how this makes sense with an anchor going through it. I mean, what was the size of the boat that dropped this thing? <laughs> and why did it hit this? It doesn't matter. It looks really, really cool. So all I did was I took some gray concrete and I made an anchor sunken into the ground and admittedly, getting the angles right on this was very, very tricky. You can see it's got a hoop at the end, it's got some handlebars, and it's got the two spikes down the bottom. So the key thing here is that this boat hasn't really changed much at all. All that's happened is I've added a few windows, as I feel like every single one should have in it, and I added a bit of space in between. So this has been hollowed out, and as you can see, there's a decent amount of space in here, even enough room, if you're clever, to put in a second area to give yourself some more storage space. And there's plenty of space for bunk beds and all the sorts. You can see that the, the wooden theming is continuous throughout these to try and match the whole theme of being uh, underwater. And there's also water dripping down quite intentionally to make sure that you really do feel like you're underwater. You can even see some of the anchor going straight through the middle of the house. So this is a really unique design. And I also thought to myself, it doesn't have to be an anchor. There are so many different things that this could be in the middle of this boat. Maybe an iceberg if you're in one of those biomes. Maybe a giant rock. Maybe there's a shark coming out of it. You could get really, really creative with this idea, as long as you come up with a reason for the giant hole in the middle. I will warn you, if you do take on one of these upside down boats, trying to fill in all of these holes and still make it broken is a little bit tricky. Make sure you've got plenty of buckets on you to get rid of it. And there are some bits that you can't really help. So here, this is a slab that actually has air block in it, but you can see the flowing water. If you're clever, you can just cover them up very gently. And if not, it's not the end of the world. This is by far one of my favorite designs that I wanted to show you, especially as there are so many different options for decorating this one. Now, the last design that I want to show you is probably the most complicated to replicate, but those of you that like organics might enjoy this one. This is the Kraken taking over this boat that's obviously tipped over. Every single shipwreck is unique, so you could find them in all sorts of different woods and in orientation and in size. So if you see one that's in a particularly odd space like this one, it's kind of integrated into the ground, you could come up with a reason why it's like that. So in this one, we decided to make a kraken that's surrounding it, wrapping its tentacles around it. Now, the unique thing about this house isn't just the fact that there's a shipwreck there. The house isn't in the shipwreck, although you definitely could make it so. The house is actually inside the kraken. So if you want to go in, there's a little entrance here just under his mouth. And you hop in and it pumps you up into here, and this is the house itself. And there's enough space in here to do everything that you need, although it is a little bit cramped in here, not going to lie. 
And if you want to leave, there is a way just through the corner here. This is a really unique design because it's not very often you see many organic builds like this one attached to a transformation of something that's been generated in the world. This tells a story, just like the anchor does, and these kind of builds are really unique. It's better than just a house on top of it. It actually tells some kind of tale, and this is the sort of thing that Minecraft is great for. If you were really, really clever, and you were able to build a Kraken, maybe twice the size of this, you might be able to build a house in the Kraken itself, and then create a tunnel through the tentacle into the shipwreck itself, which could be part of the house. This could be a really intricate idea for a really good shipwreck house. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed these shipwreck idea transformation things, and a big thank you to Pajazzle and Pleasant Moon for helping me put these together. Let me know which one of these was your favorite in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.